Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. This is Sundar Abhinandan here. Hey guys, what's happening? How is everybody? Hope all of you are doing super awesome. So, what are we going to do today? All right. Welcome to a session, uh, which is going to give answers to uh, if, if, you know a few questions, which always runs in the mind. Questions like, what is this Amazon jungle all about? What kind of uh, flora and fauna are there? All right. Similarly. Uh, if you to take the uh, Ganga Brahmaputra basin, all right, all these are tropical and subtropical regions. So today we are studying a brand new chapter, which is how human beings utilize the tropical and subtropical uh, regions. And we are going to see two places like that. One is an Amazon river basin and the Ganga Brahmaputra basin. So regions around this is what we are going to focus on today. And we will know what kind of uh, plants are there, what kind of animals are there, all right, uh, what kind of people live there, everything we're gonna see. Ready? Awesome. So, hold on a second. What happened, sir? Okay. Hi, Neil, welcome. Yes, yes, I am live on Vedantu, of course, guys. <clears throat> Hi, Kanan. Kanan, right? So, let's move on, all right? By the time others also join us. So, guys, in case you are new to this session, this channel, Vedantu Young Wonders, is for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students. We got both academic and non-academic uh, stuff. Academically, we got you covered on mathematics, science, social, and English grammar. We are almost on the verge of completing the year syllabus. Now we are going to do a complete year's revision. We have already, we have just started from this 15th. So perfect time for anyone who is joining new, you would be able to get the revision on the entire year syllabus for CBSE, of course. Right? So math, science, social, and English. All right. Now coming back. So on the non-academic front, multiple series are happening, guys, on general knowledge, uh, uh, science, uh, uh, what do you say? Tricky mathematics, do's and don'ts of mathematics. And we also have series on something called V Pachala, which is typically an offline school that you would, um, or, you know, online school that you, I'm sure you would enjoy. Cool? So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hi, Sugrit Sugirta. Hello, Hansini. Now moving on. Right, guys, in case you have been following with Antu Young Wonders for some time, and you like the master teachers, you want to learn from them directly. Not just through YouTube alone, uh, right within the limited time frame. You want to learn from them. There is a lovely subscription that is available for all of you. A subscription which will give you unlimited live classes with fun quizzes. It will make your entire learning fun. You become super solid. And anytime watch replays are there with live quizzes. You can always watch the replays any number of times. And then whatever notes that are given by the master teachers whom you would, you know, really admire, you can download that notes and keep it. And yes, guys, most important, doubt solving. Inside the class, any number of doubts can, you can get them solved with test on assignments. Awesome. Not just this, there is a bonus. The bonus is you have 5,000 plus topic-wise, chapter-wise courses. And in case you are aspiring to prepare for competitive exams, you also have access to crash courses in the subscription. Wow, what a comprehensive subscription. So then, apart from this, right, how much is it? I'm sure it is going to be super duper expensive. Not really. So many more classes and features, very, very less price, guys. Now, go to the link that is given in your description box. Look at all the features, look at the price. You know what? You would be amazed to see that the price is somewhere around 11 rupees and 12 rupees per class. Wow, one class costs you 11, 12 rupees, guys. All right, that is like buying a party pack of lace, right? Less than that, in fact. So make use of it to get an additional discount. Use this coupon code SRPRO while paying. Whenever you make the payment, use this code to get additional discount. Awesome. So that's it, guys. The link is there in the description box. Now, coming back to the tropical regions and the subtropical region. So typically the Amazon River Basin, one of the, the, the thickest and the most, you know, I would say the lifeline of the earth. 
the Amazon. That lies near the equator. The Amazon River was discovered by Spanish explorer Vicente Yanes Pinzon. His name is Vicente Yanes Pinzon. All right, so he is he was a Spanish explorer. He found Amazon River, and typically it lies somewhere in the you know from the equator between ten degree north and ten degree south. The Amazon River is flowing. Cool. All right, Hema Shankari, if your screen is blur, click on that three dots that are there. To adjust the resolution to three hundred and sixty-six pixel. Okay, then you will see the blurness will go. It is because of your internet. Clear? See here. Three hundred and sixty pixel. It is. I have adjusted mine. Hi, Smarana. Hi, Megan. How are you? Tanishka, I am awesome. Now coming back, guys. Amazon basin, the jungle and the basin together, it holds so much of flora and fauna, all living, you know, stuff, plants and animals. Let's speak a little about them. And watch out, quiz questions might come from this. The Amazon River basin, it goes through Brazil, parts of Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia, and a part of Venezuela. All right, Brazil, Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia. All right, it drains all these portions. It goes through that. Now look at that picture in the Africa. That is the Amazon River basin, and that's the Amazon jungle, typically. Yes. So. Krishna Thakre, till now, you know, medical science is advancing like anything. So we have to trust them. All right. If you ask me, sir, are you confident about Corona vaccine? I would say yes. Guys, you know, when everyone, all right, is getting confident and that is the reason we do, they don't just like that get approvals. But yes, still, you will see that a lot more versions will come. It will evolve with time. But yes, we have to trust this, right? We have to trust the medical facilities. Now moving on, climate. Climate in the Amazon jungle, guys, it is hot and humid. All right, so it is hot and humid. That's because tropi uh, equator, right? Typically, it's a hot and humid climate, and um, and when it's uh, you know rainfall time, still it will be wet but humid. Humidity will not go. Uh, the entire river basin is known for humidity. So both day as well as nights. Will be equally hot and humid. You will not see the nights very cold and day very hot. Not really, guys. Are you surprised with this? Both day and night are equally hot and humid. All right. In India, we don't see that, right? In the evenings, we will see that the heat comes down, but not here. Hi, the area. Awesome. Hi Sumit, welcome beta. So now the skin, you, when you are there, you will see because of the humidity, you will see the skin feeling very sticky. All right, uh, heavy rainfall will be there, but still humid. So you will see as at night the temperature will go down, but still the humidity will be high. So at any point in time, you will feel that sticky feeling will be there. Now this is about the climate of the Amazon. Now coming to rainforest, America, you know, Amazon rainforest, or uh, or uh, you know, in fact, the the thickest and the most attractive dense forest in the world. Right, they are known for the dense roof where sunlight cannot come in, and this roof is created by all the leaves and branches of the trees, which are kind of knitted next to next. And they don't allow the sunlight to reach the ground because of which the ground is we don't know what are the hundreds and thousands of small small living things which are there inside. Very very risky to get into that. All right. So, and the ground will always be dark and damp because water whatever is there it will get retained. It will not dry up. Only shade tolerant vegetation may grow here. 
right so any vegetation which cannot receive sunlight or the different type of vegetation which will grow because sunlight cannot come in all right any vegetation which will grow with the shadow the shade alone will grow here hello maggie saswat hi so guys slowly i hope all of you are coming with me now it is rich in fauna what are the different types of animals are there let us see i hope all you guys are clear about where is it the location the climate the rain forest now let's look at the birds and animals the fauna right birds toucans hummingbirds birds of paradise etc these are the ones which you will be found animals monkey sloth ant eating tapir tapir are found right guys nice. uh, to be frank we do not have a proper count of what are the different kind of species that are there in amazon because it is very very difficult to get in there this is the fact hi dirti dirti right paras i am fine beta how are you yes 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 that's what i am also saying uh, kushboo we do not have an exact count of the different types of species that are there in amazon because no one is able to you know enter there so dark out there we don't even know so however among the ones that we have seen and explored various species of reptiles snakes are also there anaconda is there or and bow constructed are also you know constructor or also some of the species crocodiles snakes pythons anaconda bow constructor all right several fishes including piranha i don't know how many of you have watched piranha uh, movie 3d yeah man flesh flesh eating ones they also they are also a part of it cool awesome so when it comes to the remaining part the, the people of the rainforest now what what have we covered till now if you look at it we have covered the climate part we have covered uh, uh, you know yes the climate the weather the rainforest part now we have we are about to cover the the, the fauna is also done now it is the people whom we will be focusing on you guys are with me till this yes right give me a yo guys if you guys are clear till this awesome anjali yadav whatever is your doubt please put it beta awesome so now when it comes to people here a lot of people who do the shifting cultivation are present all right they it's called slash and burn cut down the tree burn it do the agriculture in that place move to the next place and what kind of uh, crops are grown tapioca pineapple sweet potato are grown here staple food typically is manioc uh, it's also called as cassava cassava cash crops like coffee maize cocoa are also grown all right so this is the type of uh, cultivation that they do slash and burn cultivation uh, mainly tapioca pineapple and sweet potato staple food is cassava cash crops like coffee maize and cocoa are also there right all right now <clears throat> coming back to the rainforest of the amazon they provide a lot of wood because when you cut down tree and do that kind of cultivation you get a lot of wood and all the dried up roots are also sources for thatching houses the dried up roots and leaves all right and they build houses to you the one the way you see in your screen right they build houses like that shaped like bee hives okay so there are also other large apartment like houses called malocas all right and very steep slanting roofs the roofs will be very slanting right they they are called malocas but large ones right because of the large amount of wood that is available these kind of houses bee hive houses or malocas are being built so now coming back in 1970 the trans amazon highway which was built it made almost you know all the parts of the rainforest accessible for humans aircrafts helicopters are also you know now they can come and reach various places of parts of the amazon the native population native people who are originally there they are called as indigenous population the native population they were pushed out from the area 
and they were forced to settle in different areas. The moment outsiders started coming, the native population is naturally forced to go somewhere else. So the development activities are leading to gradual destruction of biologically diverse rainforest. Guys, it is there is also a myth that the more Amazon jungle is accessed, you will see, uh, you know, it is it's destroyed. The entire kind of the ecological balance is disturbed. You getting it? All right. So coming back. So this is about the Amazon guys. Are you clear till this? Come on, give me a yo if you're clear till all about Amazon. We dealt with people, we dealt with the rainforest, we dealt with climate, we dealt with the location. Yes. Awesome. Anuja, Anuja, it is species, by species we mean the, the different small kind of, you know, plants, animals, reptiles, the flora and fauna typically. Now, so on this species, a lot of species are unexplored. But among the ones who are explored, we just saw them, right? We have different types of snakes, we have the uh, bow constrictor, we have anaconda, we have pythons, lot of them are there regarding the reptile part, right? We have monkeys, multiple. So that's what we are speaking about the species. Now coming to our own Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. So typically this uh, stretch of land, which is also tropical, <coughs> it uh, goes around the Indian subcontinent. Right? So it, it covers the plains of Ganga and Brahmaputra, which are super fertile, the mountains and the foothills of Himalayas and Sundarbans Delta. May or the main features of this region. So now look at it. Typically the foothills of Himalaya, Sundarbans Delta. All right. So the plains around Ganga Brahmaputra. This is what we are going to cover. And guys, Ganga and Brahmaputra rivers together. This form, they form the largest delta in the world. All right. So the region around the rivers, which we call as delta, right? The largest delta in the world is formed by Ganga and Brahmaputra rivers together. And a very topography, different hills are there, plains are there, mountains are there, all right, different topographies are there in this basin, Ganga Brahmaputra basin. Cool? Definitely, Anjali, climate is very much equatorial. Yes. Hi, Risham. We are going to do Menti, guys. Agriculture. Yeah, agriculture is the main occupation because the land, the plains are so fertile that everyone wants to do cultivate crops. And what are the crops we cultivate? Wheat, maize, sorghum, gram, millets. The vegetation cover. Yes, the vegetation cover of the area differs with the different type of landforms. You can't have the same thing being cultivated in a hilly area or uh, we call it as the plateaus, right? Compared to what you have in plains. So the vegetation cover differs depending on the area or the type of the landform. Yes, yes. Perfect. So what, what do we have in our Ganga Brahmaputra basins? Guys, we typically have the Bengal, Bengal tiger, crocodiles, alligators, elephants, tigers, deer monkeys are common. Fish and rice, staple diet, typically the staple diet of people. Right? Yes. <coughs> <coughs> yes. 
Are you clear till this? Any questions? It's okay, beta. Don't worry. Just focus on the session. It has uh, all right. Now again, coming back to the basin, multiple cities because of the fertile soil. The you know slowly the places evolved and multiple cities you know go around the basin. Allahabad, Kanpur, Varanasi, Lucknow, Patna, and Kolkata. All right, and all types of platform. You know the transport. Road transport, rail transport, uh, sea transport, air transport, all of them are there. Tourism is very, very important activity in this region as well. Guys, are you clear till this? Are you ready for a mentee now? Come on, come on, come on. Someone wants a recap. Okay, I'm doing a very, very fast recap for all of you. Guys, Amazon Basin typically goes near the equator. We are speaking about the tropical and subtropical regions. And it was discovered by the Spanish explorer Vicente Yanis Pinzon. Now, it is from the equator 10 degrees north, 10 degrees south. That's exactly where the Amazon flows. And uh, it covers typically, though it's uh, obviously it's in Africa, the African continent. Brazil, Peru, Bolivia, Equator, Colombia, and a little of Venezuela. Now, climate, very hot, humid, <coughs> and even wet, even in the rainfall time, wet, but still humidity will be there. Humidity is very unique to this region. All right, you will always feel the skin to be sticky. Heavy rainfall will be there, still humidity will be there. At night, the temperature goes low, but still humidity is there. Rainforest, Amazon jungle is known for the dense roof where sunlight cannot peep in. So, any vegetation that grows, it that supports shade uh, are the types of vegetation which will grow. It, sunlight will not come in. So, any vegetation which is there inside, all right, it has to live with shade. Those are the uh, types of vegetation which will grow there. The ground generally will be dark and damp. Different types of plants and animals are there. Taucans, hummingbirds, birds of paradise, animals, Monkey, sloth, anteating tapirs are there. Uh, reptile snakes are there. You know, crocodile snakes, pythons, anaconda, bow constrictors, etc. Piranha fish, multiple varieties of fishes are also there. Now, when it comes to people, they use this, uh, what we call a slash and burn agriculture to cultivate top crops. Tapioca, pineapple and sweet potato are the primary ones. Staple food. Guys, what is staple food? Staple food is the food which we receive from uh, vegetables and cereals, right? So, <clears throat> staple food, what they use is manioc, typically. Uh, it's also called uh, cassava. Cash crops like coffee, maize, cocoa are also grown there. Now, the rain products give a lot of wood because of which families build thatched houses like beehives, what you see on your screen. They also build huge apartments like houses again, called maloka, which will have steam slanting roofs. Cool. Now, guys, uh, in 1970, we, they built the Trans-Amazon Highway, which made the entire rainforest accessible. Because of which, a lot of transport started moving in. As a result, the native population, the indigenous population was, they were forced to go to different places. Right? Now, it is also observed that because of the, uh, uh, the so much of movement, Accessibility, all right. The the natch, the you know the nature in the Amazon basin is getting disturbed. Now coming back to Ganga Brahmaputra basin, all right. They move around the Indian subcontinent. Typically, the foothills of Himalaya, Sundarban deltas are the major regions covering. And guys, this the Ganga Brahmaputra rivers together, the region around them, as we call which we call delta, they form the largest delta in the world. And different types of topography are there, plains, mountains, etc. Right. Agriculture is the main wheat, maize, uh, sorghum, gram, and uh, you know, millets are the important crops. The vegetation generally all right, depends on the type of landform where it is done. Different types of landforms have different types of vegetations. 
Now, regarding wildlife, you have Bengal tiger, crocodile, alligators, elephants, tigers, deer monkeys, etc. Fish and rice, staple diet of people. Staple diet, which is, I think I already spoke about it, the diet that you receive from vegetables and animals. You call them as staple diet, right? Now, uh, yeah, Ganga Brahmaputra Basin now has uh, multiple cities covering them. Allahabad, Kanpur, Varanasi, Lucknow, Patna, Kolkata. All four types of transport, road, rail, sea, air are available. Tourism is a very important activity in the region. Now, I hope all you guys are clear. Give me a yo and I am going to jump into a menti. Already. Sanskriti, it's okay. Wa. I appreciate your keenness to get information, right? So coming back, guys, I want all of you to open a separate browser window like this. I have opened Google Chrome. You can open whatever browser you have and type the website M-E-N-T-I, menti.com, menti.com. M-E-N-T-I. Once you type in there, it'll, it is going to sell you, ask for a code. Please enter the code. What is that code? The code is, I'm going to give you the code. Be ready, be watchful, be on your toes. Here we go. 9714. 846 9714846 9714846 I Come on, come on, come on. How much time shall we give? Another 45 seconds max. First question will be on your screens. Hi, Ashish. How are you? But now after class, when the moment I end the quiz, you will not be able to use it. Sanskriti is this for you. But every session we will conduct Menti, don't worry. Thirty more seconds. Quick, 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 quick. I'm gonna start. Faster guys, join faster. Hi Devesh, how are you? Hi, BSY Infotech team. How are you? I'm going to refresh my page because many of you are asking. Here it goes. The page is being refreshed. So... Guys, 15 more seconds. First question is going to be on your screens. Okay, I think we have given it enough time. Five, four, three, two, one. Here I go. First question on your screens. And the question is, the place where a river flows into another water body is called what? River's mouth, river's source, river's table or none of these. One river flows into another water body. It could be sea, it could be uh, lake or whatever. What is that called? Let me see how many of you figure this out.
Time is running. So how many of you chose option A? By the way, wow, not bad. Most of you, keep it up, guys. That's called reverse mouth. Shrenik, Sarfras, Kashish, Manas, and Vridhi. Top five. Shivam, Preeti, Mohammad, Sahiti, and Reba. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. Question number two. How is the climate of the Amazon Basin characterized? By cold and wet, by hot and wet, dry and wet, cool and calm. Careful, careful, careful. Is it cold? Is it hot? Is it dry? Is it cool and calm? Five more questions. So, hmm, everyone is saying hot and wet, correctly so. So now, Shrenik, Sarfaraj, Kashish, Manas and Shivam, top five. Vriddhi, oh sorry, Preeti, Sahiti, Chia, Laya and Manas, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Janvi, hi. Many more happy returns of the day. Goshan Janvi, may God bless you, beta. Taukans are type of what? Animals, reptiles, fish, birds. Guys, remember how I introduced Taukans. So, <clears throat> Come on. Not bad. Birds. How good are birds, guys? They appear very nice, you know, when you look at them also attractive. Shwenik, Sarfras, Kashis, Shivam and Preeti, top five. Sahiti, Param, Shia, Reba, and Utkarsh. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question number 4. Here we go. Hi, Charlene. How are you? Manioc food belongs to the area of South America, South Africa, Amazon, Ganga Basin. Come on, guys. Three more questions to go. All right. Amazon region is the right answer. Perfectly, guys. 103 of you got it right. Shrenik, Sarfras, Kashir, Shivam and Sahiti, top 5. Param, Ishan, Urkar, Sabinav and Akshat, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question number 5. Ready? Two more to go after this. Hi, Suryansh. Guys, Bengal Tiger, where is it found? Mountainous area, Amazon Basin, Sundarbans Delta, all of this. Where is Bengal Tiger? Where are Bengal Tigers found? Wow, 101 of you got it right. Awesome. Sundarbans Delta is known for Bengal Tigers, guys. The most famous Bengal Tigers of India. Sarfaraz, 
Kash is Shivam, Ishan, and Utkash. Top five. Abhinav, Akshat, Trushna, Siddharth, and Prince. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, guys, question number six. Question number six. Here we go. On which river bank are Allahabad, Kanpur, and Varanasi located? Ganga, Brahmaputra, Hogli, Yamuna. Allahabad, Kanpur, and Varanasi. They are located on the banks of what river? Come on, guys. Varanasi itself will say everything, right? That's why it's such an important pilgrimage site. Vaisak, no. But I, I, yes, I am from that part of India. Not bad. Ganga, the most famous Ganges flows through Varasarasi, right? You take a holy dip in the Ganga, people used to say that. So, Sarfaras, Kashesh, Shivam, Utkash, top five. All right. Trusna, Akshat, Prince, Vibor, and Optimus. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ready for the final one? Here we go. Kashish is at the top as of now. Small rivers that join into a main river are called what? They are called as ponds, tributaries, perennial rivers, non-perennial rivers. Super simple, right? This one. Hi, Tamna. Many more happy returns of the day. May God bless you, beta. So, time is running. How many of you chose? Option B, tributaries. Wow, most of you. You guys are rock stars here. Superb. So, who is going to win? All right. Looks like Kashish is winning today's quiz. Kashish Fatima, many congratulations. Followed by Sarfra, Shivam, Master Abhinav. Top five. Great job done, guys. Congratulations. Akshat, Prince, Vibor, Ishan, and Optimus. Great job, all of you. You guys were a part of the leaderboard today. Great job. Keep it up. And there should have been so many of you who tried, but got right answers, but could not get into the leaderboard. It is okay, guys. All right? Great job done. My kudos to all of you. And yes, the way it is over, we have started the Pariksha revision. So guys, be there. The revision series, which covering the entire year syllabus is going to happen. We already started for a few subjects. It will be there coming in for uh, social science shortly. Watch out. Right. And yes, guys, I hope now you are clear. The Amazon River Basin and Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. All right. All about the flora, fauna, the people, the climate. Yes. Now you are clear. Hit the like button. Let me know you liked it and you are clear about it. And do subscribe to Vedantu Young Wonders. Thank you so much, my dear kids. Lovely interacting with all of you. I will meet you again tomorrow. Until then, this is myself Sundar Ravindranathan saying bye-bye. Have a nice evening, guys. Enjoy.